Hello and welcome to a, another edition of Paul Mills Photo. Um, in this blog I've decided to do a brief talk about Sigma lenses that are available in the Canon mount but um, a lot of this will apply to you Nikon users as well. Um, so let's start off with the Sigma 70-300 f4 to 5.6 dg macro Canon lens. You can pick it up really cheaply at £96 off Amazon. This is a lens I had at college for a long time and you can get half macro um, life size images from this lens and if you stick um, an extension tube on it, which is basically a hollow tube, um, you will be able to get one to one um, life images. So it's a fantastic lens if you want something it can do macro as well as take general um, telephoto pictures. Obviously it's not going to be the sharpest lens out there in terms of its telephoto capabilities but for the price I don't think you'd be too disappointed with its performance. So moving on. Now this is the lens I had it for a little while which is the Sigma 120 to 400 f4.5 to 5.6 APO DG and it's um, a really good lens obviously it's not quite on par with Canon's offering but it's close um, and because it's the shorter version of say the 50 to 500 or the 150 to 500 those lenses were known to be quite soft at the long end but this lens isn't bad and I would highly recommend it if you're looking for something that's a lot cheaper than the Canon 100 to 400 lens um, basically um, it's three times more expensive to get the Canon version of this lens so it's certainly a lens to consider if you're on a tight budget you can pick these up um, there's a seller here selling one used for £479. Um, you'll probably be able to pick up a new one for around 550 something like that. Um, and it is a really handy lens to get. Um, it's quite sharp. Um, obviously it's not sharp as a Prime or one of the Canon offerings. But at the end of the day it all comes down to how much you're prepared to spend really. So moving on. Okay, more recent developments with Sigma lenses, they brought out the 150-600 contemporary lens. Again, prices seem to be going up again, um, because I know for a fact this was £740 um, probably three months ago, so it does seem to be a common theme that lenses are going up in price. Um, this is the Sigma Contemporary, uh, part of their new line of global vision lenses. It is quite sharp. I did compare it to the 100 uh, to 400 Canon lens, and it's not far off the sharpness. Um, and it's about 2.2 kilograms in weight. Really nice lens. I, um, I really love the feel of this lens. It's something you can carry around. It's got optical stabilization as well. Um, so it's, it's a really good lens to get hold of, and I would highly recommend it. Um, in fact, I, I liked it so much I bought it myself, so it's a, a really nice lens. Moving on, obviously the sister lens, which is the 150-600 um, to f5-6.3 to DG OS HSM lens for Canon. Basically it's a sport version, it's uh, weather sealed all the way through. It is quite a bit heavier at 3.2 kilograms in weight um, and obviously the front element is a bit bigger as well because it's uh, 105 millimeters opposed to the contemporary which is 95 millimeters um, so filters are quite pricey for this lens um, it's very heavy very durable um, it's dust proof and splash proof um, obviously when, when manufacturers say that, it doesn't mean that you can't get any dust or, or any uh, um, water in the lens. It just means it's uh, resistant to those um, element, those problems, basically. But 
This lens is really nice. It's just as sharp, if not a little bit sharper than the contemporary, between 500 and 600 millimeters. So it's a fantastic lens. Um, I have done some videos on it, so check those out. But um, it is quite a heft to carry around, so you might find it a bit too heavy unless you're using a tripod and monopod. Nice lens. Um, the price has gone up though, again. Um, it wasn't that long ago, it was £1,200 on here, on Amazon. Now it's £1,329, so it has gone up in price. I suspect it's got something to do with the new Tamron G2 lens that's come out, which is around, I think it's around 1350, something like that. So, um, you know, it's a toss up between this and the G2 lens. I'd probably go with the Sigma Sport because it's uh, basically more weather sealed than the G2 is. And if you've got unlimited budget, <coughs> which is £6,000 for the new Sigma 500mm f4 Sport DGOS HSM lens. This is, the, if you're wondering what this is, this is the actual previous version to that lens, which is the uh, f4.5 500 prime. Um, obviously, if I had the money, I'd probably buy this new Sport lens. Um, there's numerous advantages to this particular lens. One of the main ones being optical stabilisation. Um, you can pre-focus different points with this lens and it will mem memorise uh, where you're focused. Um, you can turn beeps off, it's got a lovely tripod mount. It's a really good lens. There's a few videos on YouTube that can tell you more about it. Um, but um, if you've got quite a bit of money, you might want to consider that particular lens for wildlife in particular. Um, because obviously with it being brand new it will be a fantastic lens. So here's a roundup of Sigma lenses I would recommend. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.